realestateinvestor.com presents Investing Tips Assigning a Contract for Wholesale by Colin Egbert with Hope Hammond It may seem easy to start a career in flipping real estate, but for the investor who is new to wholesaling, it can get very confusing very quickly. After all, how can you assign a contract in a wholesale deal when you don't even know what to do to accomplish it. Perhaps the reason that so many real estate gurus gloss over the topic of assigning a contract is because it's so simple. They just forget about it in the larger scheme of real estate wholesaling. You'll be surprised at how easy it really is to assign a contract to a buyer and what it all really means behind the legalese. Assigning a contract is basically turning over your rights to purchase a certain real estate property to your buyer. The contract that you assign is the original purchase agreement that you have signed with the homeowner. Don't worry about getting your hands on examples of documents and contracts required in real estate wholesaling. These documents are perfectly legal. Be sure to read them to make sure you understand what they say. A real estate contract doesn't have to use difficult language to make it a legally binding document. So feel free to use everyday language in your own documents. The mechanics of assigning a contract are really simple. You'll start by making a few adjustments to your basic purchase agreement contract. Start by adding the phrase and or assigns to all spaces where you would sign your name on the contract. Also when writing up the contract, include a small section stating that you can assign your rights to this purchase agreement to another buyer. You'll also need the assignment contract. This contract document between you and your buyer will state that you've agreed to give up your rights to the homeowner's purchase agreement in exchange for a fee. It isn't difficult to write up a contract if you can't find an example of one somewhere online. Simply state in the document that you will give up rights to the purchase agreement for a certain property. Be sure to state your full names the name of the homeowner, the selling price of the property, and the address of the property in your assignment document. In the assignment contract, you'll want to state the amount of money that you'll be receiving from the buyer in exchange for your purchase rights. Don't forget the dates, your signature, and a space for the notary to sign and validate your assignment document. At closing, you'll write in the buyer's name on the original purchase agreement with the homeowner after the and or assigns phrase that you've previously written in. The buyer will sign his or her name on the purchase agreement completing the deal. It's your responsibility to make sure that a copy of the assignment contract makes it to the title company so they know that you've signed the contract willingly and that they can complete title change. It's not difficult to start flipping real estate contracts. You just need to learn the process once, and from there, you will be able to repeat it as many times as is needed. To learn more about real estate and wholesaling, head to realestateinvestingwholesales.com.